Hey, welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are a returning subscriber, but if you're new, it's your girl Lex. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a cute flyer using all free apps. So if you like this flyer that you're looking at right now, make sure you keep watching to the end. Because if you do, then you'll be able to know how to make this type of flyer. So yeah, let's just jump straight in. The first app we're going to go into is Fonto. And we're going to hit Plain Images. I'm going to choose the white one. I'm going to leave the sizing at 2048 by 2048. For the colors, I'm going to choose pink. And I'm going to choose like a light pink. And I'm going to see white. Oh, and I'm going to do white in the middle. And then I'm going to do the light pink at the bottom. I'm going to choose vertical at the top. Hit apply. Use. And we're going to save the image. Now that that's saved, I'm going to go on Safari. And I'm going to type in eyelash training. That's the business we're going to do. I'm going to go through the images. And see which image I like. And I think I'm going to use this one. So I'm going to add that to my photos and I'm going to see if I can find another one so I'm going to type in eyelash extensions and I like these I'm just going to crop it to one picture. I don't need two. So I'm going to use the first picture. I like both, but I'm going to just use the second one. Or did I say the first? <laughs> okay. And I have two pictures. So now I'm going to go back in the photo. Choose. I didn't mean photo album. I'm going to choose plain images. I'm going to choose the white background. I'm going to type in 101. Choose the sizing. I'm going to turn it up. I'm going to choose the color black. And for the font, the font is that baby is new ad regular. And I'm going to save this image. I also want the price in glitter. So for this last class, we're going to say that it's $450. Next, we're going to go into PixArt. In PixArt, I'm going to hit the plus button in the toolbar. And I'm going to choose 101. And I'm going to go to the Safari really quick and type in gold glitter background. And I'm going to find one I like. So I like this one. Hit F photo in the toolbar in PixArt. Add it in. Size it up, choose blend, go over to you see lighten, and adjust it to where you want it at. Hit apply, save it. Then I'm gonna do the same thing to the number I chose. Blend, go over to you see lighten, size it up. Apply, save it. Now I'm going to go into the Eraser app. And I'm going to hit Erase, Target Area, Zoom. And I'm going to select that. Then I might have to restore something. Turn the width down. Make sure that your numbers aren't cut off. Hit done. I'm going to save this. Now I'm going to go back in the font. So I'm just going to save this white background. I just took the 450 and moved it up. And I'm going to save image. I'm going to go back and erase it really quick. I'm going to hit erase. And I'm going to just turn it down and erase like the square border. Because you can see it. I don't want to erase her eyelashes. So I'm trying to be super careful like i want to kind of turn this picture into a png 
not kind of, I really do. So that it will be like easier to blend. Square is like too harsh. I really, really want to keep her eyebrows in the picture. I'm going to save it really quick. Going back in the Pixar, I'm just going to add the pink background we need in Fonto. I'm going to add photo and see how this looks. Hope it doesn't look crazy blended. I'm going to hit blend. Screen over there. It don't have to be that big. Maybe like right here. I'm going to apply and save it. Next we're going to go back in the font. So and upload that. Okay. And then I'm going to hit add image. And use that white wallpaper we me in Fonto. Size it up and turn down the alpha. To about 22. Yep. That looks pretty good. I'm not going to lie. That looks pretty good, y'all. Next, we're going to go ahead and add in that 101 glitter number. Size it up. And the, the name will be 101 Classic Mink Lash Training. But I'm not going to put it like all in one line. I'm going to hit style and change the font color to like a darker pink. Maybe this pink or do I want to do if I do this pink I'm going to hit style and change the shadow or well, might not I might just do a stroke mm. I might leave this white and just change the sh you know the shadow for the font for this I don't know exactly what font I want to do yet but I do know I don't want to do Okay, I might do this bison bold font. I like that one. And I might leave the lash training font like that. And then I'm going to... I might got to go back to erase it really quick. And then like try to erase this in a circle. This is not a circle by far but we just gonna finesse it I'm gonna go on a safari and hit gold glitter circle Let's try this. I know it doesn't look like a PNG already, so I'm gonna just go back in the eraser, hit erase target area, and now I'm gonna save this. Now I'm going to go back in the fonto. I'm gonna choose the circle. Oh, that came out really bomb, y'all. That's it's cute. It it actually worked out. I think I'm gonna size uh this picture up some. I'm going to have to size up the circle a bit. Now I'm going to put add item. And I'm looking for a square. We're going to turn, choose the sizing. And we're going to size it up but change the width. And the height 
so it can be like a rectangle a long rectangle and for the width we're going to size it up so it can fit all the way across I actually want to move the this picture down a little like I want it in a corner I'm just I'm like messing around with the sizing Size that down a little because I want this rectangle up some. I'm going to change this color to pink, like a really light pink. And I'm going to add the text and it's going to say, learn how to make six figures. And I'm going to change the font style. I'm going to change the color to black. Size it down. Next, I'm going to hit add text and it's going to say only size it up. So I'm going to hit add item again, choose the square. I'm going to change the height and make it really skinny. And make it short. I don't want it really long, but right here, color and change the color to black. I'm gonna hit add item again and choose the square again. And I'm gonna look at this size and it's 125. Okay, and e I think 125. 125, and I think the height is. Eight. I'm gonna change the font on here. I think I'm gonna change it to, I like Kenzo. Now I'm gonna hit, oh, I'm gonna move this over some actually. I'm gonna change the sizing of the font. Now I'm going to hit add image and I'm going to add in the $450 transparent number. Now I'm going to hit includes, I'm going to type add that in. Going to hit Add text, we're gonna put light refreshment. Certificate. Okay, text again. Sanitation. Aftercare. Aftercare slash removal. Now I'm gonna just put aftercare and I'll put removal less. removal 
I'm gonna have to move these down some because like the uh, sizing is a little too big. I just added in the square again and for the width I want it long but for the height I want it skinny and I add this at the bottom and for color I'm gonna change it to pink probably choose it this pink I'm thinking a light no I might do this pink but I'm gonna just change the uh the alpha I'm gonna turn it down some like maybe 40 I like that and I'm gonna put Add tax and hit $150 deposit required up front. Change the sizing of that. And I don't want the words on her actual leg. So I'm going to see if I can move it over without it looking, you know, crazy. Actually, I think this is really cute. Like, I thought it would look crazy, like, if it was, like, not everything wasn't centered. But I'm not mad at this at all. This actually looks really good. So, what I'm going to do is um make sure I like how everything's looking. But I think I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. I think this looks really good. I'm gonna hit playing images. I'm gonna keep this size in 2048 by 2048. I think I'm gonna hit use this pink. Hit use. And now I'm gonna add in uh, the flyer that we need. I'm gonna size it up. And I'm gonna add it up and I'm gonna add it again. That's how you make a cute flyer using all free apps. I hope it was easy to follow along and you guys really enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.